begin by selecting one of the categories on the left sidebar or from the boxes on the center of the web page. We have hundreds of templates to choose from. Click on one of the designs to see more information. To begin customizing this product, click the Personalize button. Click the drop down to select a backside. Not all our products have a backside option. Email us to request and we'll add a backside to the template. And most importantly, select a quantity. Click the Next button. This will load the Design Studio. The front and the back side templates are now displayed on your computer screen. The next step is to change the text. Double click on the sample text with your cursor blinking inside the text box, highlight the sample text, and start typing right away. Do the rest the same way, delete the sample text, and replace with your own text. We highly recommend to start the number at 001 on both the stub and the ticket. If you have a backside, edit the text the same way. If you would like to add your own photo or company logo, delete the sample image. Then click the image tab to pick up the file from your computer's hard drive. Click browse to find the image file on your computer. Type a name for the caption and click Upload. Then click the green check mark to place your design on the template. From this point, you can scale your image to make it bigger or smaller. Drag the bottom handle downwards and upwards and do the same thing on all sides. You can also move and reposition your image by dragging the image anywhere on the template. Double click and highlight text to edit the font style and size. Click the font name drop down from the toolbar and select a font style that you like. Click the number next to it to make the text size smaller or bigger. To change the font color, double click and highlight text and click the color palette from the toolbar. If it's necessary to reposition the text boxes, drag the entire text box by dragging anywhere on the template. After you've made all the changes, click the Finish button. From this point, you have the option to download a low-resolution proof of your order. You must have an Adobe Acrobat Reader installed on your computer to view your proof. You can also save this PDF file on your computer. After you save your proof in your computer, click Add to Cart button. Then click Register. Under the registration details, type in your first name, last name, email address, phone number, create a username and a password. Confirm your password. Enter your address. This address will be used as shipping address. Then finally click register button. If you need to make further changes with your order, click the little magnifying glass icon. Click the edit artwork details button to go back to the Design Studio. If you need to change the quantity, click the Edit Quantity, then Update Cart. Review your cart. If everything looks good, click the Checkout button. At this point, choose the freight option you would like to use. By default, UPS Ground is selected. Click Submit Order. Enter your credit card information. If your shipping address is different from your billing address, then you have to type it in. But if your address is the same for both billing and shipping, click the button that says 
click here to copy delivery address. Then click Process Order. It may take a few minutes to process your order depending on your internet connection and the credit card server. You'll see a thank you page and you'll receive a confirmation email and a receipt from Paul Letter Shop. Oh, 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 oh,